Does it feel like you're heading into your senior season? Yeah, I feel like I've been here for a while. Yeah, but at the same time, time's flown by. It's crazy to think about, but definitely do. I mean, the young guys would call me Unc, so they call all our seniors Unc. Comes for everybody, man. Comes yeah. Uh, Always be acting like I'm ancient. <laughs> uh, this is kind of like near and the end of summer for you guys. Where would you say the team has improved the most from the beginning of the off season until now? Uh, I would say, you know, the thing we value most: relationships have improved the most. I think uh, from top, like from young guys, old guys, we got a lot closer with each other than we were, you know, when we first met each other. Even you know, some guys from last year just you know worked on getting closer. I think, you know. Our relationships have gotten a lot stronger, uh, and I think that will do a lot for us this upcoming year. Does it feel kind of different coming into the season? Just like obviously, new new young guys, you know, obviously a couple of returners, but without Tyler and no. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it definitely feels uh, different. I think anytime you lose, you know, guys of the caliber of Oso and Tyler, it's going to feel a lot different, especially when you know they're some of our best friends. So I think it definitely feels different, but. You know, difference is not always a bad thing if you approach it the right way. We can grow from, you know, different. We can find our own way, uh, form a, you know, a new but similar identity and just continue to play together and have fun. These last four months, has Chase just lived in the weight room and what is his shoulder routine? Some of us need to get bigger up there. Uh, I mean, yeah, Chase has been working really hard uh, on the court in the weight room and I think, you know, we always knew he was athletic, but even that, that, that second dunk he had, uh, Surprised me. He, I mean, he he's been dunking this whole week. Uh, he got. I wouldn't say he dunked on me, but I was trailing and he dunked it, so I fouled him. But yeah, so he's been you know impressive this whole summer, and you know he's forming, coming into his own as a leader, and you know that's what we love to see. All the skill, natural abilities, talent he has, just forming in and flowing with you know confidence and you know feeling of belonging and like this is his team. What have you seen from the, the freshman? Uh, I think everything you guys just saw is stuff I've just been seeing this entire summer. I think they're going to help us a lot this year, and I think uh, you know we're going to have stuff that people don't know about because they're freshmen, uh, guys who can contribute and help us win some games, be big in some games for this this year, and you know guys who are super willing to learn, uh, super great people, uh, fans or the fans are going to love. Royce, Josh, and uh, Demarius, they light up rooms, and I'm really excited to, you know, help them grow and, you know, for them to help me grow and, you know, finish this up in my last year at Marquette. So, couldn't be any better freshman class to do it with. Steve, as much as getting stronger and then working on, like, certain things and aspects of your game, you guys are big on EG, you know, energy generating behavior. Yeah. This time of the year, what do you work on to get that better and how good is it? Uh, I think... You know, I think the thing that the two things that take away from our EGBs are when we get tired and when things aren't going our way. And I think you know, just competing against each other every day, it's going to be one team uh, that things aren't going their way, and both teams are probably going to be tired. So just practicing and forming the habit of you know giving each other energy, pouring into each other while those are the circumstances will help us during the season when we you know can all play together and you know have subs pour into each other and I think that's the biggest way we practice that right now is just you know fighting through fatigue and you know responding when things don't go our way and when things do go our way. What are you guys gonna get out of hey, hey, format like this where it's not the fights of firm but you have fans yeah. in there, you are playing game like situations kinda of, what do you feel is like the biggest benefit for, for all of you guys as a team? I think uh, as far as like the fans being there, you know the first taste of having as, as close as we're gonna get to a game so far as close as we got to a real game so far this summer. So I think just being able to have that experience uh, with this new team and you know watch be able to watch tape, uh, be able to address you know the different emotions, feelings and things of that nature that come in when there's people in the stands is something you know we've prepared for and we got a great practice out there. We both competed, uh, both teams made mistakes. Uh, but you know that didn't deter us from keep fighting and keep playing together. So I think that's a big thing it practice or helps us practice for is just continuing to respond when you know there's people watching and you may make a mistake and not feeling that level of embarrassment and just focus on the next play. Uh, ben and Caden are different kind of big guys than Oso. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you learned about playing off of those guys? Uh, I think I learned a lot because I'm you know like you just said they play different. So I think when you play with either one of them, both of them have unique uh, 
skill sets and unique advantages that not a lot of people at their size have. Caden, uh, you know, strong as an ox, can pass the ball, can score the ball. Uh, ben, tall, can shoot it, uh, can put it down, can get into action. So I think being able to play off those guys and just you know becoming more comfortable with that, and some just you know just similar to how we used to play off Oso, and I think you know. Although their games are obviously different than Oso, different than each other's, I think they still have the ability and the talent to play that similar role. And the unique thing is that they can also play together because uh, of their you know, skill sets and just their versatility. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year being on the court with them, and you know, I love those guys.